cooking my chicken some quinoa. To make sure they don't fight, I gave them two. But no, they always like to go to the same one. And eventually someone will peck at somebody's face. See, they were like, Popeye, go away. Popeye goes, fine, I'll go get my own. So there's Kung and Pao. Pao still has a naked butt. It's red now. I don't know if the other is. Oh man. Spooked yourself. You spooked yourself. Nobody spooked you. Happens. I'm surprised none of them have stepped in that thing and flipped it over yet. Which also happen happens quite often. I like the little pecking noises though. It's just a matter of time though before one of them decides to step on that thing because it's just plastic. And they'll flip over and there'll be quinoa all over the floor. Which is fine because you see they'll pick it up. I also used extra garden fencing and made this little fence along the side so that they can't come in, mainly because they like to poop on the concrete. And I already have this section of concrete, you can see all the little poops everywhere that I had to clean up. So I'd rather not have to clean the rest of the poop off the rest of the concrete on this side of my yard. Also, I fence it off because they dig and there were times where they almost killed my roses and they definitely killed this, which is a horseradish root plant. So as you see, now that they can't get to it, it has revived itself. This one's jasmine flowers, which they leave alone. They don't like that. But this is also rose bushes, which they have also almost killed. So, and I put these fencings up. And there's fencing over there too. But I discovered they can walk right through it, which was hilarious. My husband thought it was hilarious when the chicken walked right through it. So, yeah, now that they have this fence here, they can't get to it. <laughs>